Hey guys, Mr. Jams here. Uh, we're back for a part two today. People seemed really interested. I had lots of comments asking questions, so we're gonna go over some of that in this video. We are gonna be going over the current mods that Opera has available and how to use this mod menu. So starting off, we've got this on and off button and you can see it disables all the background when it turns the mods off. Next, we've got this web modding tab. We've got the shaders tab. We've got the theme tab. We have the background music tab, browser sounds, wallpaper, and lastly, keyboard sounds. The first mod we're gonna talk about just got added by Opera. It's called a date with Aura, and it pretty much affects everything that the mods can control. I actually had to adjust the volume settings to be a lot quieter because the background music and all the sound effects for this mod are very loud. But as you can see, it replaces most of the little tabs it has here. Jumping into what this mod does, it adds little sound effects when you open and close new tabs, when you go over all your little icons here, it creates new little swish sounds. You can see there's some Doritos and G Fuel references back there, a uh, little LED candle, it's kind of cute. When you type it, it makes new sounds. When you delete it, does the same thing. Alright, moving on to our next mods going to show you guys the Discord GX Classic mod. This is the only web modding mod that Opera has out right now. And everyone's familiar with like the classic Discord look. You know, it's got this gray if you're in dark mode, which if you're not, you're a psychopath. So when we go and enable the Discord GX Classic mod, it's going to make Discord have the classic GX home screen look. You can see the wavy green background, the transparent text area, gives it the whole same vibe. Moving on, I'm going to give you guys a brief overview of all the shaders this time. Last time we only did two, but there's a lot to play around with. So we're going to take a look at all of them. Now something I failed to mention last time is that as long as it's enabled in your settings, you should have this little tab down here where you can quickly enable and disable all of your shaders. So starting with Cyber Psychosis, you know, you guys saw this one already. It's got all the number effects and the, the digital glitching. We've got CRT which is like an old screen. We've got CRT curve, which gives like that old living room TV feel. Next, we've got the weather effect, which it's kind of hard to see with this lighter background. So we're gonna go to a darker background like YouTube. You can see it a lot easier here. Additionally, we've got the old camera effect, which gives it that old timey film grain and then black and white color. You can see it really well here. You know, it looks different on all the web pages. Next up is an exciting one, the Pit Boy from Fallout. You can see it's got that nice glow. It kind of waves back and forth. Very, very high contrast. You know, it's harder to see all the dark text and dark colors. Continuing on, we've got the Mexico filter. It's really hard to see on the light background, but here you can see it gets that nice like sepia brown color. Just gives it a little bit of like a dusty age to everything. And this next one I find funny because I can relate to it. Uh, it's called Forgot My Glasses, and it just adds a blur to everything, almost like you can't see what you're looking at. Uh, I think this would be cool if you used it in some videos or projects just as a way to blur the background without having to use additional software. Uh, but, you know, it looks good for what it's supposed to do. Last but not least, we've got the crack screen, which I showed you guys in the last one. Uh, again, it just kind of like disjoints everything as if it actually was moved a little bit. All right, now we're going to go ahead and turn off these shaders and move on to the next thing. We'll scroll down on in here, and then we're going to take a look at the keyboard sounds next. You'll find them right down here. We've got Grand Piano first, and then next going to be Morse Code. You can hear it right here as you're going. Beautiful piano sounds. Same with the backspace, it adds a little riff to it. Just a cool little touch, not something you're probably gonna leave on all the time. We're gonna go ahead and disable the piano and enable Morse code. Check that one out. I'll let you guys listen. Again, this is another funny one. I'm sure you're not going to leave it on all the time. These tones can get a little annoying after a while. Last but not least, we've got two little theme music mods to go over. The first is going to be this space ambient. 
And you can notice that it just gives you this airy, like, drowned out tone. Almost like we're in space. Uh, and next we've got the boss theme, which I know someone commented on the last video about, so we're gonna show that off. It's got a very upbeat Dark Souls fight vibe. I rather enjoy it. Ah, the good old days of Dark Souls. Moving on. So last but not least, there's this little icon down here letting us know that there's going to be a store coming soon for new mods. And you can click this little button that takes you over to the GitHub. And I'm not going to go through this in detail, but you can look through all this and it shows you exactly how to create and run your own sample mods. Uh, so the community can really just build what they want, um, they can make custom themes, custom web themes, custom background sounds, custom music, custom keyboard sounds, all kinds of stuff. So I'm really excited to see what the community comes up with all this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you guys think. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.